Why did God create man if he knew they would sin? The answer to that is because he always works evil out for a greater good. God knew that before he created, that man would ultimately disobey him. We know that God declared to Adam and Eve, you may eat of all the fruit trees in the garden except the one which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And unfortunately, uh, Satan ended up tempting them. And ever since he tempted them, uh, we know that Adam and Eve ended up falling. And since then, sin entered into the world. But thanks be to God that he sent his one and only son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that if we believe in him as Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins, we can enter into newness of life and fellowship with him. So why would God still have created? Well, it's because he would work that evil out for a greater good. It's a manifestation and revealment to his creation of who he is. He is the God who is holy. He is also a God of love. We know that from 1 John. We know that we're called to be holy just as God is holy. We know that the angels, the cherubim and seraphim, uh, day and night they cry, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. And so when we begin to meditate on these realities, we see that even in the midst of evil and sin and suffering entering into this world and occurring within our lives, there's still a greater good that has come out of all of this evil and suffering because there is a day of redemption. Christ is the one who brings restoration. And we know that one day God is going to create all things new. There's going to be justice done to the wicked as they're thrown in hell, and hell will eventually be thrown into the lake of fire. But for us who are born again, we know that we have a promised hope in eternity. We're, we're going to go to a place where there is no more evil, sin, or suffering. Where we get to be with God all throughout eternity. Where we're ever increasing in joy and we have continual peace. And there's per perfect love and we get to learn more about God. And God gives us new things to do within heaven. It's a beautiful, wonderful reality. And so even though... God knew we would sin. He still created because the greatest stories are those where there is redemption involved, where there is a hierarchy, right? Um, or there is, um, there is, uh, you know, as as movies we watch or whatnot. There's there's a certain struggle. There's something evil that's occurring. There's there's a trial that man has to go through or a woman has to go through, and they overcome right? There's a climax to every amazing story. And the climax to ours is is just simply God. But we know that it's the event, the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and rising on the third day. But there's another one that's coming upon his second uh, uh, coming. So why did God create man if he knew they would sin? It's because he's working that evil out for a greater good. There's a bigger, gr more grander, majestic story behind all of this. And we can even know that we allow, as parents, eventually we have to let our kids go. We give them, we allow them to exercise their free will and, and they can learn as they go, right? When they become uh, adults and, and they go out and, and make a living for themselves and they do certain things, they are responsible for their actions. But we even know that God allows us to exercise our free will and we many times use it wrongly. But it's even when we're saved, even though we stumble and fall, God's the creator of all, and he has saved us and loved us, and it's a revealment of his long-suffering patience with us. And also, when we are saved, we are saved from sin, and some sins go away immediately. Others, it's a sanctifying work. But we see and we have a testimony that even though God allowed me to be a blasphemer, a porn addict, a gossiper, a slander, a cheater, uh, an adulterer, whatever it might be, God saved me from that and he's changed me and I can now use this to give God glory. So even though God foreknew sin would occur and that man would fall into sin, nonetheless there's a greater story coming out of all of it. And may we just give thanks uh, to God and glory to him that he doesn't want any to perish but all to come to repentance. May all come to know the one true God, the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit by putting their faith, trust, and hope in the Lord Jesus Christ alone as the sole source for salvation, and may they repent of their sins.